WISN 12 News with breaking news. Good afternoon, Craig McKee in the WISN 12 Newsroom. We want to bring you up today to the breaking situation on the interstate. Interstate 94, there is a tractor trailer accident. We're looking at a live picture here from the DOT cameras. A tractor trailer has actually hit a light pole on the concrete berm in the center of, of both east and westbound traffic. That tractor trailer, the tractor part of that tractor trailer is actually up on that concrete barrier causing massive traffic delays. Now, what's going to happen next? Here, here's what's going to happen. Firefighters are on the scene, paramedics are on the scene. There's a passenger car involved in this accident as well. Traffic is backing up because, according to the Sheriff's Department, they are going to be closing down both westbound and eastbound 94 so they can not only remove the tractor trailer, but also take care of the light pole that was hit in this accident. So there are going to be massive traffic delays. We are expecting it to take about an hour. We are being told, at least right now, we do have crews en route to the area. You're going to have to use ramps to avoid the entire area, uh, of course, over the next hour. Please share the information onto your friends and family. We have the information on WISN.com, on our Twitter feed as well, and Facebook. Share the information out across the board. Let's make sure everyone knows about this delay. Again, about an hour now, eastbound and westbound will be shut down just in the area. It's 116th Street, by the way, is where this accident has actually taken place. But, of course, the ramps to get off, as we know, we've been dealing with the... Uh, Zoo interchange construction. We already know how to get around with all these ramps and closures that have been taking place for months. You're going to have to use those exact same routes to get around this mess again over the next hour. We have ground crews en route. Also, News Chopper 12 is en route to the scene. As soon as we get any updates for you, we will bring them to you here on Channel 12, also WISN.com, Twitter, and our Facebook. You've been watching breaking news coverage from WISN 12 News. Stay with WISN 12, WISN.com, and our WISN mobile apps for continuing coverage.